a man and a woman growing closer. Hi guys, my name is Jess Muffin and welcome back to Danganronpa. Alright, so let's just load up the game and see where we're at. Yep, okay, so if I remember correctly, it's the next morning we all decided that we weren't going to sneak out at night so that we weren't going to kill each other. And I think I needed to speak with... I can't remember her name. Is it Sayaka? There's a doorbell next door. I guess I should use that. Uh, hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Oh, Makoto! Perfect timing. Huh? Uh, listen, I have a favor to ask. Okay. Um, where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> so, listen, I have a favor to ask. A favor? I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Oh, um... I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Oh, well that's kind of smart, because everyone's going to want to kill each other soon. Self-defense? Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here. Whoever presented us with the rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in this insane position. She's right. We never know when they might attack. So, I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Uh, again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. For anyone who hates walking around the school, we've got some good news! You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost. Forever. Well then, good luck and have fun! I guess we could talk to... Kiyotaka. Let's talk to you guy. Yeah. Good morning, Makoto! Good, good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. My goodness. Sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Probably. Where's the gym? Oh, we can talk to a bunch of people. Celeste. Well, hello. I hope the two of you are having a nice day. Eh. Yes, good morning, Celeste. <laughs> Exchanging such common greetings is somehow strange, given the circumstances and everything. You know, sometimes you scare me a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am off. Uh, should we get going? Yeah. I'm just checking stuff out. What's over here? There's a way to run, right? Oh, hey, Fumi. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Nyegi and Miss Maizono, where are the two of you off to? <laughs> a man and a woman growing closer. Drool. <laughs> Go creepy. Hey, what are you saying? Mm. Like when two people are stuck in a hostage situation and over the course of the story, they fall in love. There's no other way to express it but to say how very poetic. What a pervert. Makoto, do you have any idea what he's talking about? No, no, no. I didn't read that doujin. I swear. Nope. I don't have a clue. Sure. Hope's Peak first floor. Ah, there it is. The gym. This must be it. That must be it. Yeah, this looks way more familiar. Here is the gym. Okay. Hey, girl. Ano? Here we go. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Or murder someone. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find something in this place case that I can use. Yeah, the giant katana right there. Oh, sorry. Let's do it. Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But... Jeez, I barely touched and I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Well, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. You should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> But I guess you'd better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. Oh crap! I don't want that. That's like the most incriminating thing. <sighs> I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. You'll, you'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. She giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. I, I would like to continue looking at stuff. A plaque. I guess it's to commemorate some kind of championship. It's a gold statue of Buddha. Why is something like that on display? I like these little dudes. <laughs> some terracotta clay figures. They don't look like the kind of thing you'd put in a high school gym. We found something? There's all kinds of stuff on the shelves up above. What is that? It's a helmet of some sort. Why is something like that on display? I don't know why, but we're getting stuff. Alright, I guess we can chat. Um... I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. <laughs> Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Uh-huh. You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just 
I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. <sighs> stare off into space? But you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. No, it's not that it's boring. It's just... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I, I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? What kind of dream, babe? Well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I... My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know, and my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know, so I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess, and she could sing and dance. <laughs> <laughs> but more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel all my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. Wow, that's so amazing though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I did whatever it took to reach my dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off of your dream. Not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. <laughs> In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no, don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Oh, I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were so young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. <laughs> but that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka? She's trembling. She must be terrified. She works so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever and ever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now that we're trapped here with no way out, they're probably waiting for me. <laughs> Whoa, look at her face. While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still... Sayaka? I can't afford to be stuck in here! That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate. But I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she puts so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. 
And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying? I can't even imagine it. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. I kind of killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Um, Sayaka. Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Yes. You want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Are you sure? Usually the ditzy kind of anime girls are not good cooks. <laughs> wow, really? What's your specialty? <laughs> Chili oil. You mean the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Don't trust her. Don't trust anyone in this crazy, crazy high school. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning to our rooms. Why would I do that? I have that sword. Everyone's gonna think that I have that for some strange reason. There's my sword. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting around here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Uh, sure. As you live out your school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events and new info will be added to each person's report card. This game sounds very complicated. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also, keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you would prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep and skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story then... Anyway, why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizono? We've been spending time with her. She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? It's kind of weird. Alright, how do I go about that? Oh, yeah. You know, Mikoto... I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Hmm. Should I talk to Sayaka for a while? Let's spend some time with her. Are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. No, it's okay. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sayaka a present? I have a present to give? Sure. What would you like to give her? I don't have anything to give her. Hello. Um, Makoto? Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? Well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? 
Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. If you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're with me. Sayaka. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that? It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. Ah, ah really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. That mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. <sighs> but it's kind of strange, you know. I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Because I looked at you all the time. Oof, I got chills! Why are you so creepy, Saika? Huh? I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the school pond? A bird wandered into a pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. <sighs> it was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle once every million years, that bird once every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been... A crane, a sparrow, or a heron. I don't know what a heron is. It almost sounds like a fish to me. It was a heron, wasn't it? No, not quite. It was similar, but even bigger than that. It was the crane. Like a heron, but bigger. That'd have to be... A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it was a crane. It was a crane. It just walked right into the pond. <gasps> That's right! That's what it was! It was so big that you had no idea what to do, <laughs> but you led it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. I should have said thank you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me? I'm that crane you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I kind of figured. <laughs> Honestly though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. <laughs> I never imagined this would be how I'd get my chance. Yeah, if we'd met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find a way out, just like that crane. You'll save me. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so sad if she dies and gets murdered. It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Because I'm psychic. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Clearly you're not. She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we got, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. I was glad to feel that way. Cool. Sorry that I didn't get Crane right. I wanted to know what a heroine was, but you didn't tell me what it was, so I'll have to look it up later. You just unlocked a skill, a melodious voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You earned it. 
Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Okay. Mm. <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, today has already come to an end, but I swear, tomorrow I'm gonna find some kind of clue. I swear. I didn't, I just talked to one person. As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I'd had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. So I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her? No. Compared to everyone else here? There's no doubt that I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Man, I'm feeling down about myself right now, just reading this. Come on, Makoto, I'm certain there's something good about you. <laughs> there I am, there's Monokuma again. Ahem! So, I'm sure you've noticed that the killing game has begun, but... There's still room for a little laughter. It seems our newest students, already so filled with despair, still have some hope of escape. <laughs> so when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? <laughs> Heart pounding excitement. Man, it's so evil. Oh god, I hope no one died. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Oh, morning has come. What should I do? I think we should go back to bed. It's free time again. Yeah. Alright. There's supposed to be a machine, right? Where can we find the machine? Oh, hi. Oh, there's lots of people. Where can we find a machine? Bathhouse. Yeah, that sounds fun. Trash room. Trash room. Poco's room. I, I don't see anything for this machine. Nurse's office. School store. Maybe the school store? I need to buy something. But I don't have any money, do I? Oh my. Okay, this looks like the machine. 
the vending machine. I guess this must be the school store then. Yeah, but can't we buy something? Okay. Look at that armor! What would she want? What's this? Oh, maybe if I turn the knob, a prize will come out. Would you like to try your hand at the almighty Mono Mono machine? Wait, that was the machine, right? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Alright, let's give it a shot. Uh... Okay, let's do one coin. I got a blue thing. Is that a thong? Is that a thong? I should probably get going. It is a thong! <laughs> Designed solely for those in control of their buttocks. For better or for worse, it's unisex. And I think that's all we have right now. What is all this stuff here? Yep, this is definitely the school store. But it has some kind of Japanese western blend. It seems more like a cluttered antique store. Okay, we got money. I guess there's nothing else to look at over here, huh? What about this? I'm starving for information from the outside world. If only there was a TV that worked. Ugh. Alright guys, so I'm just gonna leave it here. That was really quite interesting. Sayaka actually seems to be a little bit more desperate than we thought. I guess I got a weapon, even though it's just like this weird gold sword that clearly can incriminate me if I wanted to use it in any way whatsoever. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked this video, push that like button, subscribe if you want to see any more games that I play, and then hit that notification bell because I'm going to keep playing Danganronpa and you'll be able to see it and be notified when the next one comes out. Alright guys, I love you so much. Have a great day, have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye